Hi, my name is Jesse Durham and we're back for another installment of our quote series. The quote today is, everything he touches turns to gold. We're going to talk about the Midas touch. Now, this comes from an ancient story about a king whose name was Midas and it's a, it's a great story to be able to read about, but essentially it was he obtained the ability to touch anything and have it turn to gold. Now, of course, he went to touch an apple and it turned into something that he couldn't eat. So there's a moral there, of course. But let's talk about that. Let's talk about how the Midas touch, how that saying that there is of everything he touches seems to turn to gold can apply and how it makes me think of the infinite banking concept. So if we were to make a comparison, an apples to apples comparison of, say, a household that's conventionally, traditionally, commercially operating, paying massive, massive volumes of interest, you know, they're, they're financing things conventionally, versus a household that in every other point is equal to the first. But if they practice, even at a fraction, even the beginning of becoming your own banker, if they're practicing the infinite banking concept and they own a percentage, a portion of their need for finance, what does that provide for them? Well, it provides lots of things. It provides, from the get-go, a tax-free transfer of wealth because with a whole life policy that's been properly structured with a mutual company, you have a death benefit that will transfer to your your heirs or, or your beneficiaries from day one. Now, of course, the actual use of that policy for the infinite banking purpose is, again, going to provide you with, like I said, a portion of your need for finance as a household. So not only does that financially put you in a different place, but I mean, even psychologically, just knowing that you could decide how to access, how much to access of the cash values that you have in your policy, so capital that you own, and how you will even structure the repayment back, you know, just the flexibility that you have as the owner of that policy. It's a beautiful thing. And then if that translates to a business, if two businesses in the same industry, in the same community, you know, if everything else is being equal, but one is doing everything conventionally where there's massive amounts of interest being paid to other parties that are not part of this business, well, that erodes, obviously, the opportunity for this business to be able to grow and scale and everything that a business would like to do, you know, more quickly and, and with more control. Whereas if the other is practicing the infinite making concept, at least in the very beginning, there is a portion and that portion can, again, ultimately be grown, developed, built upon so that the entire footprint of that business is financed. The banking function is uh, absorbed by that business completely and again, so that there's an entity that is owned and controlled by that business or by that household or by an investor, it doesn't matter what case we're talking about, and we have a place to warehouse wealth from which we can deploy wealth to buy, you know, uh, business equipment, to be able to pay for employees, taxes, anything that a business does or anything that a household does or anything that an investor does maintaining control of the banking function. So again, in those apples to apples scenarios of one household A, household B, business A, business B, investor A, investor B, the Midas touch, when we consider the infinite banking concept, is the tailwind that Nash would talk about when he would describe what it's like for a plane to be flying with a tailwind that's pushing it exponentially faster than it would otherwise go in and of its own propulsion. So you can remove the headwind that most households, businesses, investors experience because of the interest that goes to others, and not to mention again the terms and the control that's being abdicated to someone else that someone else is dictating. I mean, who do you want to be able to dictate 
you know, the terms and conditions and who do you want to hand over control for your house, the financing that your household does, the financing that your business does or that you do as an investor. So just food for thought on how to add the Midas touch to what it is that you're doing. Nash said and said how you would beat the competition out. There would be no comparison if you would account for the banking function in your life. So I hope that this quote has been helpful. If you can think of a quote that you'd like to see covered or that you'd love to share, I would appreciate hearing what it is that you would share about famous quotes from you. To be able to have a conversation about how to apply the infinite banking concept to your household, your business, and your investing, give us a phone call, 828-817-4223, or email durhamtalents at gmail.com. I look forward to our next conversation. Have a great day. Take care.